what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is michelle if you're not new welcome back i am so sorry for like the lighting changing throughout the video i'm just trying to set up the camera where it's in a good spot so yeah so i'm gonna cut it sweet and short if you don't want to hear me talk and break it down on like how i lost the weight in a good amount of four weeks then skip to the cooking spot which I'll mark in the description box and in the comments but to make it quick and short this week I'm eating fish and rice and fish and broccoli I will make a list and I will put it in the description box I'm doing cardio Stairmaster level 7 for 30 minutes every week it changes therefore if you want, me, if you want to listen to me break it down continue watching if you don't then skip to me cooking fish okay so i don't eat the same thing every single day like this week that week that week it changes every single week by how much ounces of protein i'm eating how much grams of carbs i'm eating how many fats i'm consuming if i'm even getting carbs that week or if i'm even getting any fats that week so it just it differs depending on my body and then as for cardio, if I'm doing like a lot of cardio, like which level I'm doing, how much time on that level, um, how many days a week, five to six, and what's it called? Yeah, dieting is important. Po dieting is important. Dieting, cardio, lifting, very three important things. Let me just let me just say this. I am dieting. I'm dieting up to November. May or may not be doing a show. Maybe. Who knows? I'm looking for one because of the whole coronavirus thing. So it's kind of just trying to see an open window. But I am going to diet to November. Um, I'm, I've been dieting for a good four weeks. This week, I will be putting, I'm going to put like a list here somewhere, and then in my description box of what I'm eating this week in a day, so it's in a better understanding, because I'm just going to show my fourth meal, which is just fish. I have no carbs in my fourth meal, so it's just straight fish, no rice. Um, I have a little bit of fats. I get my fats for my oil, and then... Oh, sorry Toby and then I do eat like a spoon spoonful like 32 grams of peanut butter which are just my healthy fats it's either peanut butter or avocado but like avocado doesn't really sit right with me I do try my best to like take it in as much as I can but I can't it's just my body just doesn't like it and that's absolutely normal um I don't have an ideal weight that I want to go down to. I just want to look lean and good, cause you know you could be you could be 140 and still look bad. You know, like a lot of people compare themselves to me. I'm like I'm 155 right now, and people would be like, oh, I'm like 155 too, but I don't look like you, because the masses are different with body fat and like muscle mass and like water weight. So and height and height so it's really different although in the thumbnail that is my before and after that's four weeks into my diet um i was starting at 167 i was bulking up to that i was debating on staying 165 or going up to 170 and then at that point i realized my body's not used to it. that's the heaviest i've been so it's just like my body's like <gasps> so i was like kind of dying there and then I was like okay I need to cut down because I noticed it with my periods and everything right now I'm on my period and like my cramps are just like hey but um I have cardio tomorrow too in the morning and I have shoulders awesome but uh, yeah it was really messy with my body because I was so heavy so I cut down and I was like, you know what bulking's been fun now I need to diet and get serious and get leaning you know get on hello welcome welcome to the cooking portion this is me flexing i, I thought i looked good there <laughs> okay so this is the tilapia raw here it is um here's the other piece they're pretty small the ones i get are pretty small but but yeah you know again they're like 12 dollars 
This is my food scale. Make sure you have a food scale. Very important. Very, it's such a good investment. So here's my food scale. It's pretty easy. I got it at Walmart for like 25, 25, 24 bucks. Some are kind of complicated, but this one's really easy. I measure my fish raw. Please measure your protein raw. It's more accurate than it cooked, in my opinion and my experience. Sometimes you're lucky when you open like a pack of like tilapia and you get two pieces and it's like spot on the right measurement you want. But in this case, I need six ounces. So I'm just cutting it apart, waiting for it to say like 6.0. And then there it is. That's my six ounces of fish. All right, now I'm grabbing the two seasonings that I use. Original, um, original Red Hot. Here it is, yes. And some garlic and pepper. Mix it in together. The Red Hot Original, you can use as much as you want. It's a bit spicy, but you can use as much as you want. I use, you know, there you go. I use a lot. I use a lot. Because I like, I like my food to be flavorful. You know, I don't want to suffer during a diet. I want to enjoy my food. I don't care how long it takes. I want to enjoy my food. But also, funny thing, that shirt that I'm wearing right there, it used to never fit me like at all. Like, it used to, like, roll up on my stomach. Like, it used to never fit at all. And then with the garlic, uh, I wouldn't say use too much. Use like a reasonable amount, just not a lot. But you do want to season both sides of the fish, the front and the back. So the flavors are going within the fish and it's just tasting <laughs> bomb, smackalicious right there. Now that we've done that, here's the fish, very marinated. You can let it sit to get in more flavor if you want, but this is how it looks really nice really orangey reddish these are the seasonings he's a better look garlic and herb i said pepper it's garlic and herb same thing i don't know it has pepper in it but here it is okay so for oil for oil for oil i use olive oil i use a tablespoon of oil and you can either use olive oil coconut oil and avocado oil those are the only oils i would recommend forget about canola oil get it out of your pantry um you can also use um pan oil right here just for the edges if your pan really sucks like mine now we're gonna grab our pieces of fish and we're gonna pop them on the pan like so you can do them one by one or if you're in a rush, you could put them two together. I was in a rush because it was like 11 at night and I was ready to go to bed. So that's that. You throw away whatever. And then you add a lid. Add a lid on top. Okay, so when I'm cooking my fish, I like to let it sizzle. I let it sit there for like a roughly good six minutes and just do my own thing. But if you're in a rush, it literally only takes like two, three minutes to cook. If you put it like on medium, and then, oh, I have Family Guy played, so if you hear like anything in the background, it's that. But, um, yeah, fish. The seasoning, immaculate, bomb. Like, me being on a diet, that tastes like Domino's pizza to me. Okay, so when I am cooking my fish, I like to let it burn. You hear that? That little crackle? I like to let it sizzle and burn a little bit. So I let it sit there for a good six minutes, because I have nothing else to do on my plate. But if you're in a rush, it's like a, it takes like a good two, three minutes because it's fish. It's really thin. It's really light protein, so it cooks quick. Therefore, I like to let mine burn because it gives it more flavor. But with the seasoning, me being on a diet, the seasoning mix tastes like Domino's pizza. But that's just me. That's just me. And it really gets me. It helps me get through my diet. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't want to play with it too much. The quickest way for it to cook is to like scramble it up how it is, like in small chunks. You can cook it in the form that it came with, but I just want to eat mine already, so I just have it scrambled and like letting it just burn and sit. So 
so sorry for the lighting changing, but this is my fourth meal. This fish here. Six ounces of tilapia. That's it. No rice. Um, I am on low carbs right now, so... And then I add a little bit of salt. Not too much, just a little bit of salt. And yeah, fish on a paper plate because no one has time to do dishes and I don't want to do dishes. So this is my fourth meal. My two and three meals do have rice. My last meal is just fish and broccoli. So this is the rice that I use. I don't make rice anymore. I just have it pre-made. The basically minute rice, ready rice. And then the instructions are, where are they? Are here in the back. I don't have a microwave, I use the stove. Um, it's very explanatory. It's there, it's the same thing as regular rice. And taste bomb if you add some salt. Yeah, easy, quick, and fast. So I did wanna show you guys this. This is what it looks like in its whole form. Like not scrambled. This is just how it looks in its whole form breaking it apart so you can see the inside it's really pretty i'm not proud of this one because it's a little burnt kind of forgot about it kind of forgot about her you know not important um but this is what she looks like it's really good and, and yeah i don't know if you guys know this but i'm hungry um but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video thank you so much if you didn't it's totally okay but if you did thank you